So we, we, we saw that um, we can start uh, gleaning, gleaning at, a, uh, uh, at an algorithm that we could use to convert right, tables to classes or maybe classes to tables. Right? So, so these, uh, we see that there might be a one-to-one -one relationship between a class diagram and a, and, and a relational model. And classes perhaps become the tables, attributes become the fields, and the relationship, the lines, right, uh, ref, uh, can be converted into foreign keys and their uh, primary keys. And we often need to be able to go backwards and forwards between these representations. So let's take a look at this example that we have a CD, track, and lyrics, right? So we have a, a CD having a, a, a primary key, C, CD ID. Uh, you have the track having a primary key and then a, a, a foreign key uh, to, the, uh, to the CD that it belongs to. And finally, we have here a track ID, which is, uh, has, a, has a primary key uh, called track ID. Uh, but notice that this is both, uh, um, I, um, it's also italic. You see that? So this is both a primary key and a foreign key. You know, that's something weird, right? Uh, we haven't seen. Uh, so this, this is the, uh, the, the example uh, that allows us to implement a, what's called a one-to-one -one relationship, right? There's only one of these, it's unique, but it's referring to something else. Right? So uh, in, in, that, in our case, a particular track presumably has just one lyric, right? And you know, one song has just one lyric. I guess you can't have a song with multiple lyrics, can you? I guess you have different lang in different languages, I guess. Uh, so so in, in, our, in our case, we have uh, in the lyrics, we have uh, you know, who the author is and, uh, and, and is, is both a primary key and foreign key, which is going to allow us to uh, capture the fact that one track has just one lyric. Okay? Some other constraints is that we have that there's a, you know, many tracks refer to the same CD, and then one lyric refers to the one track. There's a one-to-one -one relationship between tracks and the lyrics that go along with that. A uh, couple of things um, that um, uh, don't have constraints is uh, one, one CD record can have many tracks. Yeah, actually, that is the one-to-many that we already have. Um, a track could have zero lyrics. You could have a, a, a lyric that does not refer to the track. Uh, and, um, and the foreign keys uh, uh, typically refer to a one-to-many relationship, as we saw earlier. And the, the optional lyrics that have is both a primary key and a foreign key, it uh, establishes a one-to-one -one optional relationship, right? It could be no lyrics record, but if there is, that's the only lyric for that one track. Uh, so these are some examples of what the records might look like. You know, we have three track, three CDs, and you have a couple of tracks there that are referring to different CDs. And you have the lyrics referring to that, you know, each, each one of those lyrics refers to one particular track. So there's a one-to-one -one relationship between these. Um, so the representation uh, might be uh, the, the foreign key and primary key, right? The ones in, in star that we referred to uh, earlier are, are uh, uh, clues that those are gonna be foreign keys and primary keys in the relationships. Uh, and so here's what the algorithm might look like, right? If you have, if you have tables, uh, um, uh, you can convert them into a class diagram with this algorithm, right? With this uh, uh, heuristics, right? For every table, you just create, you create, a, uh, you create a class. Right? And the name of the table becomes the name of the class. That's pretty simple. Uh, then in the, uh, in the, um, if the original table contains a foreign key, right, well, that's easy, right? That's gonna become a, uh, uh, then we, you're gonna create a relationship, a line you know, between the, 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 the two tables, right? So the, if you have table T1 and T2, and table, table one has a foreign key to table two, then you just draw a line between classes T1 and T2, right? Uh, now the annotations uh, are, are uh, depend, right? If, the, if you're on the, on the strong side, right, where you have the primary key, that becomes the one, right? Now on the other side, it depends, right? It depends. Uh, if, uh, if the foreign key, right, is also a primary key, Right then, there, then has to be a uh, then it can it, at most it could be a one, right? Because it could become one to one relationship or an optional if it's null, right? Uh, if if it's not also a, a, a uh, primary key, it's only a foreign key, just a plain foreign key, then it's just a star. Okay, 
Uh, other than that, it's pretty simple. The attributes, the you know, all the fields in the table become attributes in the in the class, right? So this is a very simple algorithm that when you apply it with our student department course and section enrollment, you know, if you go through that exercise and applying that algorithm, right, you you'll uh, you'll you'll come to the conclusion that this indeed is the class diagrams that you end up with, right? Uh, notice that we have five uh, tables here. You have five classes. Uh, on the student side, you have the primary key SID, okay, uh, and you have a foreign key major ID. Okay, so the, so the student has a primary key, has a foreign key to the major ID. That means that on the student side, you can have a star, right, and on the department side, you're going to have a one, right, according to the algorithm. You know, nowhere in our here we have uh, a foreign key that is also a primary key, right, so we don't have a zero to one anywhere. Okay, so it's either a one or star. Okay, uh, so on the, on the department side, notice that it has no foreign keys. The department has no foreign keys. It only has other tables referring to it right, through several foreign keys, right? Okay, so on the department side, it's always going to be ones. And you have ones everywhere, ones, ones. So the department is not referring to anybody. Everybody else is referring to it. Right? So the course... And the students are referring to the department, so that's why they have a star, right? And you have a, and the, you have a, uh, you have the foreign keys. In the student side, you have the uh, major ID. In the course, you have the department ID. On the same thing on the um, on the section, on the section you have a a primary key, and then you have a foreign key to the course. That means that on the section uh, side, you're gonna have a star, and on the course, you're gonna have a one. Right, so so uh, yeah, so on the section you have a star, and on the course side you have a one. Right, so anyway, uh, I'd like you to you know go home and play around and, and run this algorithm, and convince yourselves that indeed this this schema produces this uh, this uh, uh, this uh, this class diagram. Right, uh, later on when we come back uh, next week. We'll do it backwards. We'll start with a class diagram and we'll generate the class. The, uh, the the tables the relational database there there are limitations to the algorithm um, uh, you know you don't you don't you don't do inheritance you don't do all sorts of things that are not possible but certainly uh, we want to we want to be able to master this uh, this algorithm